Opening DaVinci Resolve can feel like looking into the cockpit of a spaceship, but I'm about to make this so simple that your first video can be completely edited in less than an hour. So let's talk about it. First of all, you'll need to have DaVinci Resolve already installed. So you're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna create a new project, name the project whatever you want it to be, my first awesome video edit. From there, it will open up into the different pages that are in DaVinci Resolve. And instead of overloading you with information about what every single feature does, we're going to simplify all of this and the goal of this is just to edit your video from start to finish. We're going to have your video exported by the time you're done watching this. Step number one, we're gonna come down to the bottom and we're gonna click on the edit page. This is the easiest place to start. It's the most intuitive because it looks like a timeline and you can literally do everything you need to do in this one page to get your video imported, figure out what sections you wanna use, all of that. So now we're going to find the video that we want to edit. So go find that in your files. So once you've located your video, mine is right here. I'm just gonna select that video. I'm going to click, hold, and drag right over here into the media pool and just drop it right there. It'll upload your video into the media pool. Now, step two, we want to create a new timeline. To do that, we're gonna come up here to file, scroll down to new timeline, and just click that. We're going to uncheck Use Project Settings, go over to Format, and just make sure that our resolution is what we want for this video. Mine is a horizontal video, so I need to make sure that it's in 16 by nine aspect ratio. I also shot it in 4K. I wanna make sure it's in a 4K timeline. So then once you're happy with these settings, you can go through and select 1080p, whatever you shot your video in. Mine is set to 4K, so we're just gonna say create. And now we're just going to click on our video right here and drag it down onto our timeline. This is our entire video clip. This is the video on top and the audio on bottom. And right now they're linked together so that wherever I move them, it moves the entire clip. Now we're just going to zoom in a little bit by using this little slider right here. Now our third step in editing this is to trim out all of the little silences that I don't want to be there in the video. Like where I press record, you can see that I sit down before I'm able to start talking. So we wanna trim that section out. So what you can do is if it's at the beginning of the clip, you can wait until this little symbol appears and you can click and drag all the way till I start talking. And you can tell that because of the audio form right there. And you can even make this a little bit bigger to be able to see the audio better. Then you can just click in this empty spot and press delete and that will move your video clip down or you can just drag it down with your mouse. Now, I can't do that right here because I wanna keep this, so I can't just drag this section out. So we need to make a cut on the video right where my playhead is for whatever silence I wanna take out. So right here, I get up to turn the light off. I wanna actually leave that silence in because I want you to see the light go off in the room. So let's come over here. We do wanna trim out this silence because I was just sitting there thinking of what to say. So there's several different ways you can actually turn on the blade tool to be able to make a cut and trim that section. You can come right over here to blade edit mode. You can click that and enable it. You'll see it has the little teeth so that you could just click right there. And now you can see that we've made a cut. Or let me undo that. You can come back to that same place, press B on your keyboard because you'll see when we hovered over this earlier, it says dash B. That means B is the keyboard shortcut for that tool. You can also see over here, the select tool is A. So if we press B, it's enabled. You'll see the little teeth are back. So I can just press right there, go over to where I start talking again and press that again. Click A to go back to select mode. You can see my cursor is back. Click that little clip and I'm just gonna press delete to delete it. I can click in that empty space right there and also click delete. Or here's a faster way to do that. Let's undo. You can set up here if you click DaVinci Resolve and go to keyboard customization. This can look really scary and technical, but you can set up one that I highly recommend and that's called ripple delete. 
You'll see ripple delete several times and that's for different functions. What you want is to make a cut on the timeline. You can make that whatever letter you want to. I set it to R for ripple delete and you can customize that. What that does is when I come back here and select that clip and press R, it will delete the clip and that space. So it just saves you a little bit of time instead of having to delete, click the space, then delete the space. It does it all at one time. So let's continue to do that. Let's take out this pause right here. We'll use the blade tool and we'll go back to our select tool. We'll select it, press R and we'll repeat that process. Then for the end of the video, I can just drag to the end right there. And now you'll see when you watch these sections back, you'll see that it's cut out those silences. And since this is your first video edit ever, you wanna make sure that you're cutting out the silences from your talking head. No one wants to sit there and watch you think about what you're gonna say next. So you can go ahead and trim out those breaths, pauses, things like that. Now, I shot this footage on my iPhone. You might have similarly shot your first video on your iPhone. And because this is our first edit, we're going to keep this super, super simple. So we're almost done. We've trimmed the video how we want it. Now we need to make sure that the audio is at a good level. And what you wanna do is make sure when you play, you look at your audio controls over here. And if this isn't displaying, you can come up here to the top and click on your levels button. That will make your audio levels appear right here. We'll play it through. And you just wanna make sure that you're not peaking and that your audio is kind of sitting around this area of negative 15 decibels to about negative five decibels. So our audio level is really good. I won't have to make any adjustments, but if you need to turn the audio up or down, you can select your clip or you can select all of the clips, come up to audio in the inspector. And if you're not seeing this section, you just click this little toolbox right there. You'll see video, you'll see audio, and you can just easily bring up the volume or bring down the volume and you'll see that adjusted in the waveform. So if you needed to make any adjustments, you can do it right there. Also, if you had some bad framing or something, you could come to video and just click zoom right here and you can just drag that to zoom that in and out or you can position it left or right. So I just kind of want to make me a little bit more center. So I zoomed it in a little bit and then moved it over a little bit on the X axis. Now, like I said, we're almost done because this is one of your first video edits. It can be this simple and still look really nice. So I'm just going to edit the colors just a little. It was shot on iPhone in regular picture profile. It's not in log or anything crazy like that. So I'm not gonna make a ton of adjustments because it already looks really nice. But what I'm going to do is click on the color page and you'll see all four of my little cut sections right here. I'm gonna select this right here, this clip, and you'll see you already have a node. Don't freak out about nodes. This is really simple. All you have to do is make sure this is selected and you can make some very basic adjustments right here in the color wheels section. So lift, gamma, and gain are your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. And you can adjust it using these little wheels. So I'm literally just going to drag down basically the gamma, some of that brightness, maybe increase the contrast just a little with this little slider. And then I'm going to just Click right here. I'm going to copy it. And the keyboard shortcut for that is Command C. Then I'm going to press Command A. I'm on a Mac, but it's very similar keyboard shortcuts on a PC. Then I'm going to paste that to all four of the clips, Command V. And now you can see that that has been applied to all of the clips. So all I did was just bring down the brightness just a little and increase the contrast. That's the only adjustments I made to the color. So now we can click back on timeline and I think I'm ready to export this. It's just super simple. I'm explaining something that's for one of my other YouTube videos if you wanna check that out. I'll link it up here. But that's how easy your first edit can be. So now let's export it. We're gonna click on the little rocket ship over here 
and you'll see that we have several different settings that you can actually pick from. If you're going to put it on YouTube, there's these presets that you can just select that. It will be in 1080p, ready to go, or you can come in here and customize it. I like to customize it, so I'll click Custom Export. We're gonna leave all of this the same. I'm going to change my resolution to 4K because that's what I shot it in. You can set this to automatic just to make it easy for right now. We're gonna name it my first awesome edit. Now we need to click browse and tell the computer where to save the file to. So I'm just going to have it saved to my downloads just for this video. Now we click add to render queue and then we come over here and click render all. You can see it going through. This might take a little bit longer depending on how long your video is. It would definitely take longer the more you did to the video, the more you added into the edit. This process will take longer depending on what all it involves. Okay, so it's all done. We can open that up and find it in our downloads. And that's how easy it is to do your first edit in DaVinci Resolve. You don't have to do a ton of stuff to your video when you're first learning how to edit. It's easier if you just get in there, know how to put your footage in, trim out those silences, and that can be your final product. If you did a talking head video for YouTube and you're just needing to do the bare minimum edit because you're new and you're just starting out, that can be how simple your first edit is. You go in, trim out the little pauses, adjust the volume, Maybe you color it a little, maybe you leave it just how it is. Then you just click over to export and save it to your computer. Anyway, I hope you found some value in this video and this helped you edit your first video in DaVinci Resolve. If you're ready to take that next step and get a little bit more advanced, check out this other DaVinci Resolve video that will help you go to that next level in your video editing.